Now we're going to look at volume surfaces. So volume surfaces have two functions. One, they will give you a volume figure between uh, comparing two surfaces against each other. And they'll also create a surface which will help us see visually within the drawing where we have cut and fill. For the AutoCAD and BritzCAD users, you can go to the Surfaces tab and click on the Volume button. Civil 3D users, you'll need to go to the Site tab, Surface Edits panel and click on the following pull down. In this form, we can undertake volume comparisons between surfaces that exist within the drawing. We can only undertake volume calculations between civil site design surfaces. So if your base surface happens to be a civil 3D surface, you'll need to transfer it into civil site design using the tools found and discussed in the surfaces module. You can also take the surface from civil site design and transfer it to civil 3D. You can create a volume surface there and undertake the volume calculation in there if you choose. What we're going to do is take a volume calculation between the development base that we created earlier and the natural surface. To do this we're going to go to the Add DTM Comparison button. In there we've got the option of two surfaces. So the first surface is generally going to be the design. So we're going to pick from surface name BM Development Base. The second surface is generally the base surface or surface we've started with or existing, so we're going to pick the NS and then click OK. Automatically the software will go ahead now and provide us with uh, values of cut and fill and you can see here we now have a net cut volume. If at any point we decide to make a change to either of the two surfaces that are being used for the volume summary here, we can come back into this form and click on Compute Volumes to receive updated results. In this form we can have multiple volume calculations, so if you want to compare different surfaces and keep them all logged in one single place, then you can do that within this form. We're now going to create a volume surface in Civil Site Design, and this will enable us to visually see where we have cut and fill within the project. To start off with, we click on the Volume Surface button. In there we provide a name, This is going to create a surface that is going to be found in Surface Manager and we will prefix this surface with VOL to indicate that it is a volume surface. So you do not have to specifically say that this is a volume surface at this point. Underneath we have our surface styles. So these are the styles that are available to us whenever we create any surface in Civil Site Design. We're going to go ahead and just pick Volume Surface and then click OK. You'll know that the volume surface is being created because where we have the word volume surface there at the moment, that will be replaced with the word creating. So if you're waiting for a few seconds, just have a look at the button down here to see what it says. In the background, you'll notice that our volume surface has been created. And at the moment, we're showing some mesh, which for a volume surface isn't particularly helpful at the moment. So what we're going to do is just undertake a little bit of housekeeping prior to then showing the blocks of color for the cut and fill. So to start off with, let's just go to the Roads tab. We'll go to the Modeling panel and click on Toggle Display. In Toggle Display, we're just going to turn off the contours and the mesh that are currently being displayed. And then click OK. Now in a moment, we're going to be showing blocks of colour for the cut and fill and when we have images in the drawing the image draw order can sometimes uh, play a part in what we can see. So if you're using BritzCAD you can simply unload the image by typing the word image and then unloading. In AutoCAD and Civil 3D you can simply left click on the edge of the frame of the image and you'll see that we have a contextual ribbon being displayed and we're going to check the box which says show image. And then we're going to press escape to make sure that nothing is selected in the drawing. Now we can go up to Surface Manager. So on the Roads tab, Modeling Panel, click on Surface Manager. And you can see our surface has been created. And we do not add any inputs to this surface because this is basically being created from Civil Site Design data. We're going to go to the Outputs tab 
We're not interested in seeing the contours, although you could do, bearing in mind that these contours will be displaying values below zero for cut and above zero for fill, which you may or may not find useful. We're going to go to the Heights and Directions tab. In there we have the Show Height Shading box currently checked, but at the moment, because every surface in every project could be very different, we have to set up the table. So we're going to click on Set Up Table. In the form you'll see the minimum depth range and maximum depth range we're currently encountering on this volume surface, so we've got some quite significant values. What we'd like to do is have the surface split up into basically one range. So we're going to click on the pull down where it says 5 currently, click on 1 and then click OK. The first thing we're going to do is to change the middle value which is currently set at 10.798. So we're simply going to revise that value to 0 and this is the midpoint between the cut and the fill. The cut colouring is currently set at green so we're going to click on the green cell and we're going to change that to a blue colour. You can choose whatever colour you want but we're going to make sure we've got some significant clarity between the cut and the fill here by setting that to blue and then setting everything in fill which is going to be above 0 in red so we're going to change that green value to a red of your choice or any other colour and click OK. Now if you move the form to one side and you can see the drawing um, you can just simply click on update display and there you can see where we have the cut and the fill and in actual fact if you look closely in the drawing environment you can see where we have our basin and our basin was created into the natural surface so obviously that will be in cut and the same as our building pad so you can sort of see the outlines of those particular shapes. You may find it useful to have this sitting in the background so what we're going to do is just simply left click in the drawing environment on top of the surface that's just been created you may find that it's coming up as a block. When you've left clicked on it you can then right click in your CAD platform go down to the draw order pull out and then select send to back. This means that visually we can now have some context between the design or the CAD objects that we've got in the drawing compared to the cut and the fill and in actual fact you can now see a lot more clarity now between where the basin is in cut and fill and the building pad. So volume surfaces are extremely useful to have created to help you visually see where you've got cut and fill within the project. If at any point you want to turn off the display of the cut and fill then simply all you need to do is come in and uncheck show height shading in surface manager and click on update display to remove the display. If at any point the volume surface requires updating all you need to do is first of all close down surface manager, click on volume surface and then in volume surface you'll now note that we're no longer creating a brand new volume surface but we can update the existing so if either surface that is being referenced by this volume surface gets updated we can open the form and click OK to update. 